Before we start, I wanted to quickly introduce our newest game, Planet Drop. It's our second game and all you need to do here is drop them planets, conquer your place in the leaderboards and be the best space explorer you could possibly be. 50 plus planets, dynamic gameplay and more importantly, education about space all around. This game will be available within a couple of days on Google Play and iOS, so during the weekend, search for Planet Drop in both of those platforms or come back here for links to the game. Download the game, play it and I'm happy. So this morning or night, depending on where you live, we got the awful news that the NBA season is being suspended for an uncertain period of time because of the coronavirus. While that really sucks for basketball fans, it really is the only right decision here to try to contain this disease. It sucks, I was shocked too, but it was the right decision. For the health of fans, our favorite basketball players and our loved ones. NBA games gather thousands of people and with the new virus spreading around fast, it's just simple logic to suspend the season until further notice. So how did coronavirus found its way to the NBA and suspended us fans from the best ball game out there? Well, let's go to the very beginnings. On January 7, doctors in Wuhan, China identified a new coronavirus. In the beginning, it was seen as something similar to the traditional flu, but soon enough it was spreading around crazy fast. It was only China, and then, all of a sudden, it's almost every country in the world that has at least one confirmed infection. Besides China, the disease has hit Italy especially hard. The country is pretty much closed down as we speak. As the virus hit the US, more and more NBA players spoke about it, such as CJ McCollum, who said that the virus is in Oregon as well in the last days of February. March 3rd, the league tells players to avoid high-fiving fans and strangers and avoid taking any item for autographs. Additionally, the league gave out memos of 10 recommendations to players with hopes of decreasing the risks of getting the virus. In the meantime, many other professional leagues in Europe, especially Italy, were shut down due to ongoing dangers of coronavirus, most notably professional soccer league Serie A. At the beginning, they tried to play in empty arenas, and let me tell you something, that was totally unwatchable. I watched a couple of games through the screen of my TV, obviously, but that's almost like watching a practice or something. Then they started to postpone games, and ultimately it came down to the decision to shut the whole season down for now. March 7th. That's the first time we heard about a possibility of NBA games being played without fans. The news wasn't taken lightly by the current best player in the world, LeBron James, who said that he wouldn't be playing without fans, and that is reasonable, I guess. If I ain't got the fans in the crowd, that's who I play for, I play for my teammates, I play for the fans, that's what's all about. If I show up to an arena and there ain't no fans in there, I ain't playing, so they can do what they wanna do. NBA sent out the memos again, telling about their developing plans of possibly playing games with only essential staff in attendance. March 10th. In a bit of a surprise move, most of the major US sports leagues joined in closing access to locker rooms and clubhouses to all non-essential personnel. Or in other words, they banned media. The league stressed that the interviews would continue only in different settings, with a 6 to 8 foot gap between players and reporters. And how funny that this decision was mocked by the first, now confirmed, virus-infected NBA player Rudy Gobert, in a press conference where after the interview, he jokingly touched all of the microphones and recorders in front of him. Back then, nobody still knew. Then, the city of San Francisco announced a two-week ban of gatherings of more than 1,000 people, meaning that would also include the Warriors games. That decision was short-lived though, as this morning, or night, depending on where you were at the time, the league announced that the season is being suspended. A game between Utah Jazz and OKC was about to be started when the Thunder's head medical staffers sprinted on the court requesting the attention of the officials. The players went back to their locker rooms before the Thunder's PA announcement read a statement to the crowd. The game tonight has been postponed. You are all safe. And take your time in leaving the arena tonight and do so in an orderly fashion. Thank you for coming out tonight. As it turned out later, Rudy Gobert, the Defensive Player of the Year candidate, had tested positive for coronavirus. Yeah, the same player who touched all those microphones, the same player who now is also known as Patient Zero. I don't think he's laughing now. 
All jokes aside though, I do wish him a speedy recovery with no complications. The Jazz also released a statement about the situation not mentioning Gobert's name, but it was found out that it really was Rudy Gobert. And since he's been in locker rooms with his team, with media, in arenas, the NBA made the only decision they really could in this situation, and that was to suspend the NBA regular season until further notice. But what does this further notice mean? Well, it really means that the timetable is unknown, until they test all of those who are suspected to have been infected by the virus and they're sure that their arenas, players, media are safe, the season won't resume. The best thing obviously, a dream come true if you will, would be for this virus thing to just go away, cause let's be honest, I don't think we would enjoy watching games without fans in the arena. I wouldn't like it, the players wouldn't like it, and we would get a damaged product at the end which isn't good for anybody. This was a hard decision, a financial decision, but at the time when the whole world is suffering from this new virus, it's the only logical way to try to protect as many people as we can. Thanks for watching the video guys, do you think the NBA made the right decision by suspending the season? Should they just play in empty arenas or resume when the situation is safe? What do you think? Please put your comment down below. Like the video, share it with your friends, come back for links and download Planet Drop and subscribe to the channel. Most importantly, stay safe, stay healthy. The NBA will be back soon I'm sure. And I'll see you soon as well. This is Purple Prince and I'm out.